Hello, and welcome back to our discussion dealing with the rise of civilization. During our last podcast, we talked about how towns and cities impact our lives, and we also looked at how many of the world's major cities are no more than 50 years old. Now, the question that we're looking to answer is what made civilization possible? How is it that the world's earliest cities were able to develop and prosper 6,000 years ago? After today's podcast, you will have a better understanding of what life was like before civilization and what innovation revolutionized the way people lived their lives. How Farming Changed the World If someone from a different part of the world were to ask you to describe the Midwest or the state of Indiana, I imagine most of us at some point would talk about the endless corn and bean fields that line our roads and surround our houses. It's no surprise that farming is an important part of our state's economy. Indiana is the nation's fourth largest producer of corn, soybeans, and mint, and over 65% of land in Indiana is used for farming. This discussion leads us to the question of, what's so important about farming, and how did it change the world? But before we answer this question, take a second and think about three things that you try to accomplish or have to accomplish every day. Some of you might have thought about the following. Going to school, finishing homework, playing video games, or participating in athletics. 12,000 years ago, however, people did not have the long to-do lists that many of us work on every day. Rather, their lives revolved around completing one task, and that was finding food. Life before farming. Prior to the innovation of farming and the beginning of civilization, people depended on hunting and gathering for their survival. These people were appropriately called hunter-gatherers. Because they did not have a stable food supply, hunter-gatherers were not able to develop permanent settlements. As herds of animals moved and migrated, so too did groups of hunter-gatherers. Or, as the availability of wild berries or edible plants decreased, a new temporary settlement would be needed. Providing food for your family was everyone's primary goal. Men would hunt, while women and young children would gather. For a more recent example of the hunter-gatherer lifestyle, we could examine the history of our own nation and look at how Native Americans lived for thousands of years prior to the arrival of Europeans. Many tribes relied on hunting animals like bison and elk. These animals were not only a source of food, but bones were used as tools and weapons, and skins were used for clothing and shelter. Indians also ate berries, cherries, wild greens, and roots. Because they were constantly moving, Indians lived in teepees, which could easily be taken down and moved from place to place. In some parts of the world, farming brought an end to life on the move. Permanent communities developed thanks to the stable food supply that farming provided. In our next podcast, we'll look at where this transition took place and how it was made possible. Thank you for watching.